Do you hear that? What? 530 horsepower twin turbo V6? Yes, the Natuno engine inherited from the MC20 that allows for... High efficiency and output. That's the one. Exactly that. Aluminium and carbon fiber prop shaft for weight saving. It has the best power to weight ratio in class. As well as top speed. And top acceleration too. <clears throat> Well, actually the fuel is injected directly into the cylinder at 350 bar and the air-fuel mixture is pushed into a central pre-combustion chamber during the compression stroke. Near top dead center, the mixture is ignited by a spark plug in the pre-chamber and then channeled back into the cylinder via a series of holes, triggering multiple further ignition areas. It's an amazing super efficient engine. And this is just the Trofeo. The GT and Modena versions with hybrid powered trains are also available. My name is Klaus Busse and I'm the head of design for Maserati. Today I have the honor to introduce to you our new baby, the Maserati Grecada. Now there will be two things I'll talk to you about. First, when it comes to the exterior, it's all about visual longevity, meaning we don't design our cars for a two or three year lease contract. Our cars need to look good in 10, 20, 30 years, and I'll explain to you how we accomplish this. And the second part will be about the interior, the balance of the opposites. But let's start with the exterior of the Maserati Grecale. You'll see right away on the front of the Grecale that it resembles the face of the MC20 supercar with its low-mounted grille and the high-mounted headlights. But not only that, also the philosophy of applying pure sculpture to the upper part of the grille, and then at the lower part, the engineering area, where it's all about functionality, aerodynamic, and performance. This is the grille of the Maserati Grecale, even though in the studio we prefer the term frame. Because for us, it is not a grill, but the frame of the real face of Maserati, which is the Trident, and for us, the coolest logo in the industry. Now, the grill and the headlights are not just purely graphical elements, 2D elements, quite the opposite. They are actually really the 3D foundation of the construction of the Grecale, meaning that flowing out of the shape of the grill, you have this central fuselage, which encompasses the body, the cabin, and it goes all the way to the rear of the vehicle. And then we're adding these four parts, the wheel arches, which have here as the starting point, the headlights. Now this construction philosophy goes all the way back to the past, meaning the 450S, the birdcage, also the MC20, and we carry it on into the Grecale SUV. On the side of the Grecale, the story of purity continues. But when you reach ultimate purity, you need to offset this purity with iconic details. You need to carry the brand message. And one of these details, for example, are the wheels. You can now see that we designed the wheels inspired by the shape of the Trident. You can see it here in the spokes. The reason behind that is we wanted to create wheels that really carry that brand message of Maserati and only fit a Maserati. And that's why you see our wheels, not only for the Trofeo, but also the other models inspired by the shape of our iconic Trident. Not only that, we also have this small detail here. It's called the Ugula. I'll let you look up what that means in English. But it's a detail that's also been with us for, for many, many years. And we carry it on the front of the vehicle and the grill above the Trident. And you'll see it also in the rear. Another element that's been with Maserati uh, for many decades are the three portals here on the side to create the engine ventilation. And then, of course, in this particular case of the Trofeo Grecale, the script of the Trofeo. The purity of the body I spoke about, but there's one element that was contributing to remain pure in the body side. That is by going from uh, the mechanical handles to electric handles. Also helps with aerodynamic, but for us, from a design point of view, very important to again maintain this purity. You have it, of course, driver door and the rear door. And here you already see this muscle developing that I spoke about earlier. You have the central fuselage of the cabin and the front grille, and then these added on parts that create this beautiful muscle in the rear. Talking about 
Uh, this part of the car, here's the typical Maserati triangular C-post hosting the new redesigned Trident. Now liberated from the ellipse and more confident and we launched it first on the MC20, continuing here on the Grecale and future models. On the rear of the Maserati Grecale, you see the beautiful effect of the construction I was mentioning earlier. The central fuselage of the car and those added on parts on either side. You can really see the beautiful proportion, the beautiful reflection we're creating through that construction. The taillights remind you of the 3200 GT boomerang taillights. Iconic details with us, designed by Giugiaro originally, and now coming back with the Maserati Grecada. The script in the center, Maserati, freshened up, redesigned, first introduced with the MC20 together with a redesigned Trident. And then overall, you see the same philosophy as you saw in the front. The upper part of the car, very clean, very pure, very sculpted. And then the lower part of the car is all about business, all about carbon fiber and creating that opposite contrast. Now talking about opposites, let's take a look at the interior of the Grecale and let's talk about the balance of the opposites. In the cabin of the Maserati Grecale, you see all the elements you expect from Maserati. And you can also see how teamwork delivers a great product. Color material delivering fine leather, this open three-dimensional carbon fiber, but just the work of the design team with this AC outlet, paired with perceived quality and tactile quality here with the controller to control the airflow. But also, no detail is too small for this team. For example, this little metal plaque to finish off the stitching on the side of the console. Now, the steering wheel will always be the most important part of the Maserati interior. You have those massive metal shifter pedals here, but you also have now, directly at your fingertips, the drive mode controller and the engine start-stop button. Talking about drive modes, here in the center, we have the new single glass big screen paired with PR&D buttons. So we're really bringing together the digital world and the mechanical world. In the digital world, you can see the drive mode select of feedback. In this case, you have the GT and you have the readout of the behavior of the car. If you now go to Corsa, you can see how the behavior mapping changes and what to expect when driving it. Speaking about Corsa, up here we have our new digital clock. Before it was always analog, now we're going digital. And this clock can also be configured. And if you want to go into Corsa mode, you can, of course, go into a G-meter. I mentioned the mechanical PR&D shifter buttons that we have integrated into the screen. That allows us to actually remove the shifter from its normal position here on the console. And that allows us to create some extra storage opportunity for the customer, but also for your phone and some wireless charging. The comfort doesn't stop here. The Grecale has best-in-class second-row legroom on top of that. Technology, I spoke about the central screen. I spoke about the digital clock. There's one more element, which is the cluster in front of the driver, 12-inch, fully configurable, whether you like the GT mode or the more relaxed, reduced mode. And of course, there will be a Corsa mode. What is really unique about the cluster is actually its shape, its form. Normally, the screens are rectangular. They have to be mounted rather high on top of the steering column, which takes them out the optimal viewing area. With this cluster, we were able to give it a so-called saddle cart, more like a free form, and that allows us to move the cluster down, hugging the steering column and providing the perfect viewing angle. 